My take has always been that competition brings out mean spiritness in, in people, even if they maybe try to be spiritual and, and they're well educated and they know right from wrong. Do you think sometimes that, that be, when any community becomes something sought after to be a part of, whatever it is, whether it's quilting, I'm sure yeah. there's some mean quilters oh, out yeah. there. <laughs> My squares are better than your squares. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that, that a competition sets in, and then even though we want to evolve out of our, our egos and not be caught up in that, but that it's just natural. Do you think yeah. that's part of it? I think it's definitely natural. I think what makes the Hoobin community different than maybe other communities is that even if someone is caught up in competitiveness, on some level they are trying not to be. And some of them they know, oh wow, like this doesn't feel right. You know, where there's a lot of other communities where the competitiveness is just has it has free reign. It's like nobody's even trying to not be competitive or to be kind or no one's trying to be different. They just, you know, the the competitiveness and the mean spiritedness is part of it and it's just accepted. Where the hooping community that might arise, but even in the very person that is sparking it, you know, you feel there's that internal struggle and eventually they will get over it. And it'll be, it'll, you know, like I said earlier, it'll kind of smooth out. So I think that's what makes it really different is there's an extra, it seems to be an extra level of consciousness around it and, um, and a, a willingness to grow through that and to not be that way. Um, and there's also an extraordinary resiliency because people who are hoopers, they have to go through this whole process of coming out as a hooper. And for still for the average person, it's a little bit like, what like you love that you know like how can that be something legitimate you know and so when you ha as a person go through something where you love something so much that you know people are going to ridicule immediately and you have to stand in the face of that and move through that like that creates a strength of spirit that you know is is really beautiful and i think that's very that can be very sing singular for the hoop community anything to add because you've been in hollywood and competition is is Revered. I mean, well, what I wanted to say is, and it, it's in response to what Anna said, I think is, what I think the film is really about is finding something, and I, why I think a lot of people can relate to it. You know, you might not be interested in hooping, but you're interested in something, mm -hmm. and you may not have committed yourself to it, and it might be scary, and you might think people might not think it's the coolest thing in the world, and you're scared of making a living. And But I saw that the hoopers that committed to it, that gave this crazy thing they're all that it gave back to them you know they all were way better off at the end mm -hmm. and, and it's just a very exciting story to see to see that you know and, and I think it really encourages people to make a bigger commitment to the things they really like and it's even very inspiring crazy. even yeah. if they're crazy because <laughs> yeah. it's you know it's the crazy things that end up making our civilization more interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah hooping isn't boring that's for sure <laughs>